Whether it's mornings and coffee or summertime and the traditional family getaway, some things just seem to go well together, including Southwest Airlines and McCarran's Seagates. Southwest's colorful aircraft have been synonymous with the Seagates for more than a dozen years, occupying most, sometimes all, of this busy space at McCarran since 1998. For many frequent Southwest travelers, there's never a question. If they're flying on SWA, they're heading straight to sea. However, a construction project will soon require many Southwest customers to reevaluate their assumptions on where to go when they arrive at McCarran. Over the next several months, workers will replace the asphalt near the Seagates with a more durable concrete surface. As this occurs, portions of the Seagates will be taken out of service in phases. This means many Southwest flights will be shifted to the nearby B concourse. Southwest has previously operated a few flights per day from B, but this construction will greatly increase its presence there. So what can you do to avoid heading to the wrong gates? It's as simple as taking a few moments to check the flight information screens, or visit McCarran.com to see which gates your aircraft will actually use. If you still find yourself in the wrong place, rest easy. The B and C gates are connected by a bridge located behind the security checkpoints. It might take a little bit of walking time, but you can still get to the correct gate. Along with Southwest, some Virgin America, Spirit, and WestJet flights will also be relocated by these ramp repairs. Passengers flying on any of these carriers are encouraged to check the displays before heading off to the gate. Happy travels!